Hey guys, Matthew here. In this video, I'm just going to show you uh, one more cool thing that shows kind of like, you know, how Rhino can be kind of generative, which is a different way of using it than we've looked at so far. Um, just kind of to impress you before I send you off to uh, Linda and look at a kind of a cheat sheet to kind of teach yourself for a little bit. So I've got this kind of cool surface all the way up here, and I'm going to um, draw a plane. Um, so if you remember, this is the surface I made when I uh, lofted. So I'm going to make a plane that starts at uh, zero, 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 which is the origin, and it's going to be five units along in the X, because I remember that from the last video, and then it's going to be 20 units along in the Y, and these two are the same size. So if I go to uh, the top view, you'll notice that they look the same from above, because they are the same from above. Now, I'm going to uh, now use a command, really, really uh, simple command, called uh, tween surfaces. So tweening it gives you the capacity to create um, a surface which is, say, for example, 50% this surface and 50% this surface. So if I choose twin surfaces and I want to start at this bottom one and I want to end at this top one, uh, at the moment I've made one surface in between. So that surface is 50% that and 50% that. If I wanted to make 10 surfaces, I now have a whole range of surfaces. So this one's uh, point. Uh, 0.9 of, sorry, 90% this one, and 10% uh, that one, and that one's 20% uh, that, and 80% that, and so on and so forth until you get all the way to the top. So now I've got a whole bunch of different surfaces that I've quickly made through um, going from here to here. So this might be useful in a whole series of different um, instances in which you've got you know one condition and another condition and you need to kind of try and average those conditions out. This is where you might want to use that tool. Um, but it's just a different way of using Rhino where it's like, you know, I'm not sure what I'm getting out at any point in time in any of these from just this and this. So it's a completely different way of using Rhino. So um, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.